Hey, Jim. Well, one time we, I, I had a uh, 54 Olds holiday while I was in the Navy, and our ship had just come down from uh, San Francisco at Todd Shipyard down to uh, Long Beach. And <clears throat> this we had a weekend off, and me and a couple other guys went up had to hitchhike up to San Francisco and then come back and uh, we just got back in time to get on board the ship and so I went down to the engine room. I was in charge of the evaporators and the guy that was on watch went up to the head while I was there and I'd been up for about 48 hours you know I hadn't slept the whole weekend that we had gone to get the car and I hadn't drank a thing I you know I I've been hitchhiking and driving. I hadn't had time to do any drinking. <laughs> and I hit that heat of that engine room, and me being so tired, I fell asleep. And the next thing I know, here's this chief comes running into the evaporators, and he yells and screams. And, and uh, so they wrote me up. And I, I never even know, knew what they wrote me up for until we went up to the captain's mast. And the captain asked me, he says, what happened? And I said, well, I'm just tired. You know, we've been working long hours with the ship up in the, in the dry dock. And uh, I had to go pick up my car in San Francisco. And when I got back, I hadn't slept and I was tired. And I, I fell asleep, uh, you know, there. And uh, he says, uh, okay, and the uh, chief says, uh, read the charges. The first time I'd heard them, he said, uh, sentry, asleep on watch, and, ca and uh, caused, oh, it was asleep and drunk on watch and caused boiler feed water to be contaminated and had to be discarded over the side. And I said, that's a lie. And the captain turned to me and he says, you've had your say. <clears throat> and I said, sir, but that's not true. <clears throat> and anyway, he awarded me in a summary court-martial. And <clears throat> so uh, it was a couple days later, we were underway headed for Hawaii and then on to Japan, where our second home port was in, in uh, Subic Bay, uh, Japan. So anyway, on, on our way to Hawaii, they, I heard on the uh, intercom, it says, Hoyt, machinist mate, second class, report to the uh, first lieutenant, which was a, uh, next to the captain. He was the, the second honcho. And so he asked me how I pleaded. I says, not guilty. And, and he, he and the other chiefs had worked this thing out that I would plead guilty and they would give me a lesser charge. And he says, well, why is that? And I said, well, first of all, Williams had the watch. The BT, second class BT that tested the water said it was good and the chief made him throw it away anyway. And I says, I hadn't drank for two days so I couldn't have been drunk. I says, I hadn't slept for a long time and I was very, very sleepy and groggy. <clears throat> and so he sent me back to my cabin, and uh, and they called Williams to the first lieutenant's uh, cabin, and then I heard the BT called up, and then it was a long, long pause, must have been three or four hours, and then they called Hoyt, machine space, second class to the captain's cabin. And I went up there, and uh, the captain says, you're a lucky son of a bitch. And I said, how's that, sir? He says, we're dropping all charges. I said, but I wasn't guilty, sir. And he rushed me out of there. So that was a while. all there was. But it was nice to see that somebody lived pretty nice on the ship. Captain had a pretty good size cabin. <laughs> and that was my summary court martial of uh -huh. James Hoyt. <laughs> well, justice prevailed, it sounds like. Yes, it did. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a great story.